the amazing D. Ice. And he is right here, Kama Vile Meona. We'll be talking to him, we'll be getting to know more about him and his musical journey. And yeah, atuambia metuletea mazurigani leo, sindi? Welcome to the studio. Oh, thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh -huh. I'm so grateful for being over here. Welcome. <laughs> no, this is my first time now. I feel good. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so kindly introduce yourself to our audience and tell us what is it, uh, your official names, maybe your stage names and what you do. Okay, my official name I'm called John Chie mm -hmm. Owino from Kisumu. Yeah. But my stage name is D.I. Mm -hmm. The D.I. is I got it from Afghanistan. I used to be in Afghanistan. Yeah. That's why there's a friend of mine who was a soldier. Mm -hmm. We used to work with him in a workshop. So he just called me D.I. because the D.I. is a kind of chemical. It's, uh -huh. it's normally being used to, to spray. I don't know if you have experienced snow. Uh -huh. If you have gone over in a European place where they experience snowing, yeah. there's a kind of chemical D.I. So it's mostly being used to prevent the formation of ice. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah so that's the name, the meaning of what D.I. means. Yeah. So it comes from what de-icing. Uh -huh. Yes. All so right. it's a kind of chemical mostly being mm -hmm. used to spread or prevent the formation of ice in kind of an object mm -hmm. or to on a slippery road so right, right, after right. snow wings. Yeah, uh, yeah, so that something. is how the name came about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how long have you been doing music? You know, you talked about, um, you told me about um, being in Af Afghanistan for a while and then you came back to Kenya. Yes. So how, how did that come about? Oh, I started my music journey back in the days when I was still uh, schooling. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, the Primo, yeah, high school, I used to do music in primary school, the yeah. high school things, yeah. Then I stopped it again. Uh, uh, after high school, I was going for high school, now, you know, after high school, your parents are telling you, no, man, you're, you're not a grown-up man. Yeah. You can go also and look for your, uh, something, mm -hmm. yeah. You can go also like, the way other people are also outside there. Then uh, I went to school, then 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 I got a job there in Afghanistan, like a contractor, mm -hmm. just work with military. Like as a contractor, I just apply online, there's a job. I go in the internet and I just apply for a job, uh, contracting work for the militaries, helping yes. the militaries. I mm -hmm. know about, yeah, I hope you understand about the contract jobs. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so what while, while you were there, were you singing? No, no, I stopped singing that. The time I was in At all? No, I stopped singing. At all? I stopped singing when uh -huh. I was in Afghanistan. You didn't even entertain your... What? Your fellow colleagues? No, I, I just do it for fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't yeah. take it that seriously. Uh -huh. I just yeah, I used to do music just for fun, but I didn't take it that seriously because I was doing some other kind of job. So yes. I didn't have that time. Uh -huh. yeah. So when did you take music seriously? So I take music seriously when I come up from Afghanistan, when the military pulled out from Afghanistan this year. Yeah. Yeah, after four years working with the military. Uh -huh. uh, then the uh, U.S. Army decided to pull out from Afghanistan. Uh -huh. this year, I, I hope you have been seeing the news what's yeah, going on have. in Afghanistan. Uh -huh. Then I came back from this year, and that's why I decided to do music again. I go yes. back to doing music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So um, in the few uh, months, or rather, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's a few months, because yes. it's not a whole year already, yes, yes, right? Yes, okay. how, has been, how has the music been treating you? And how was the transition from mm. working from Afghanistan and then, because that is, kind of a serious job. I'm not saying that music is not a serious job, but yeah. it's more on the entertainment side. Yes, How yes. was that transition for you? Yeah, coming back to music, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, first of all, going back to music means that you have to package yourself very well. You know, <laughs> music is about packaging yourself. Yes. So you have to compose yourself and you, you package yourself, then you come with music. Music is not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy task. It's, it's very hard. Yeah. yeah. If you see somebody appearing on the TV mm -hmm. or doing music, it's not an easy job. They work uh, hard, First of right? all, you need to spend some money. Yes. Yeah, you got to spend that money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So uh, what are some of the challenges that you've experienced in the short time that you've been doing music seriously? The short time experience? Yeah. I think it's about capital. Mm -hmm. yeah, first of all, I didn't have that capital to do good music. Yes. Because I know it's only good music that's being played over the TV. Or mm -hmm. You can't come with all your own, just, <laughs> just a low kind of music or a and low music that. budget. Mm -hmm. To, 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 so that you can expect you to watch it, uh, it's kind of happen. So yeah. it, that's mean you have to. You need some money. Yeah, yeah you, need you need some good, good money. money. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So you said that you need mm -hmm. money to make good music. Actually, what does good music mean to you? Is it the content? Is it the visuals? Is it the mm -hmm. sound? It's composed of all those mm -hmm. things. Yeah, because yeah. first of all, good music. You must of all, first of all, you must make a good music. And for that that good music to sell outside, mm -hmm. that's mean you have to do a good video. Yes. Yeah. 
Because if the video is not good, mm -hmm. that means that video cannot sell outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, when you were away, mm -hmm. um, were you following up on the trends of music in Kenya and maybe other parts, parts of the country, so that when you decided to come back and do music, mm -hmm. um, to know exactly what is going on and what kind of music, mm -hmm. what kind of, which producers I should work with, which studios I should work with, were you following up? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, I've been following some of the producers, like uh, there's one guy I know, he's called Alexis. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know. Alexis on the beat. He's a good guy, he's a cool <laughs> yes. guy. Uh -huh. I know him for a while because yeah, I've been talking with him uh, even when I was outside. Mm -hmm. uh, he used to send him some acapella. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. He used to say, oh, you guy, you're doing good, you can make this thing. Mm -hmm. and I, I used to be following some of the good artists here in Kenya, they have been doing well. I've been watching them, they are doing good, great jobs. Yeah. Even the time the Gangeton hit last year, I've been watching those yeah. kind of Gangeton music. Oh, okay. I've been watching them. I've been you following them. Yeah, yeah, I've been following. Uh -huh. They trained last year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They talk over yeah. the waves. But they're not there anymore. Right they'll now. come back. I know. <laughs> they'll come back. I know they'll come back. Are you looking to I'll do a collab with the Gangeton no, artist? The Gangeton, they're doing good, but if, uh, at least if they, they switch a little bit to a different kind of music they're doing, they mm -hmm. change their content a little bit. Mm -hmm. But they're doing great job. I like mm -hmm. those guys. They're doing great job. They're doing good music unless they just switch it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They can mm -hmm. make it more better. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So talk to us about the most recent project that, or rather the song that you've just performed for us. Yeah. What was the concept behind it, and was is it your first song to do since you came back? Uh, this is my first interested. video actually, mm -hmm. but I still had an audio song. I did it like a year, a year ago. Yeah, is this I did, the audio? Yeah, it's the audio. Yeah. I did, but uh, I haven't released it videos. But I'm still uh, I'm still thinking of working on each video. Mm -hmm. But soon I'll release the video. But I still have some more projects coming. Yeah. And this was my first video. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, the fine body. Mm -hmm. You know, most of my song is relies on yeah. It's a love song music. I yeah. do. I like music, love song music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I love uh, love stories. You love love. Yeah, yeah. Love, <laughs> love. <laughs> love is beautiful. Love yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, nah. See, when I say love is beautiful. Yeah. Pesh, posh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Mm. Uh -huh. Say so, that you like love songs. Yeah, I like doing love music. Mm. And I'm trying to switch. Uh, I'm trying to mix some love music. Yeah. And kind of a dancehall, a little bit, but dancehall, but it's, it's a mix of dancehall with love song inside of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what was the thought process when you were writing Fine Body? Hmm. And what did you want to come out of that song? What inspired me to do that? Write about a fine body like mm -hmm. uh, I had a crush on a, on a lady. Oh, no. She it's got a always fine. about a lady at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are the prize, yeah, I yeah, tell yeah. you. She got a fine <laughs> body. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. So Come it was on. about a, a lady that you had a crush on, and she had a fine body. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Did she know that you wrote the song for her? No, or rather it, it about was just a surprise. Uh -huh. I didn't like a surprise to her. Like so you told her the song was about her. Yeah, I didn't tell her about that because uh, it was <laughs> wait, just a surprise. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Before you, before we get to, did you tell her that the song was about her? Did you tell her that you had a crush on her? No, I didn't tell her about hey, that. Hey, <laughs> how? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I didn't tell her that I had a crush on her, but I it was kind of I just did it just for surprising her. I, uh, I just went to the studio. Yeah. And I just decided to sing about this lady. I've been mm -hmm. looking for a long time. I've been hunting her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to go to the studio. Then uh -huh. I appreciate how the uh, how body looks like. So that's why. I, Decided to come up with a fine body. Mm -hmm. She got a fine body. Yes. She is a pretty, pretty girl. Uh -huh. And she is a vibe girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So, this how did then, she react to the song? Uh, it was good. Uh, but when she listened to the song, she was like, oh, wow, mm -hmm. this song is dope. Yes. Uh, she liked the song. Then, uh, you do you know why I decided to try this song? Uh -huh. I said, no, I don't know. But I say, it, it was just a surprise for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want someone to write a song for me. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? How dare you? How dare you? You are Kubali. Inakuja, inakuja. Holy skiapi. If if it's coming, I think it's coming. Holy skiapi. Ma, ni mamu na kuanga studio. So you do one song for me. Daddy. <coughs> anyway, so um, <laughs> kindly share with us your social media handles and tell us what we are expecting from the eyes. Oh, uh, on Facebook I just use the eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, on IG the eyes underscore ke. Yeah. On YouTube the eyes. Spell yeah. that the eyes for the people. D mm -hmm. 
E, okay. then space, then you put eyes, just normal mm. eyes. Yes, mm. all right. Mm. Uh -huh. The eyes. What are we expecting after a fine body? Hey, you, I got some more products coming. Yeah. Some dupe ones. Uh, uh -huh. I know you guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, okay. I got some good, good, good music mm -hmm. that is coming. Okay. Uh, still, uh, I'm still working on this one. I still want to push this one further. Uh, Later on, I'm gonna launch another one, mm -hmm. then another one. Yes. Then after that, then I decided to go look for a collab. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because okay. first of all, I need to push myself first before yeah, looking for collab. Yeah, do singles before you yeah, get yeah, to yeah. the collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's collabos. what I'm gonna do. That's my strategy. Yes. I wanna push myself first. Mm -hmm. Then I go look for somebody else who can do a collab with him. Okay. Or with any kind, anybody who's doing good music. Good music. I can do a collab with him. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, um, any shout-outs that you have before we wind up? Uh, first of all, uh. I just send a shout out to one of my guys who really pushed me to, to do music because he's the one who was telling me, oh man, you can do this, you can do the, this music, yeah? Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Uh, it's called King Cannon. I don't know if you know this guy, the uh, artist manager, it's called Cannon. Uh -huh. uh, he's, the artist manager is the one who was pushing me. Maybe was a uh, video director, mm -hmm. Trey Jewels. I don't know if you know Trey Jewels. Yes. Uh, um, and my audio producer Alex mm -hmm. is on the beat. Okay. Those are the, my guys that I want to say mm -hmm. shout out to them. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming through. Mm -hmm. We appreciate your time and we wish you all the best in your music. All right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. up next is um, the Ice Fine Body. Mm -hmm.